Hello friends, welcome back to a new video on physics and animation. In the previous videos, we learned about electric field and electric field intensity. But the problem with the electric field is that we cannot see it. We can feel its effect only. But studying only with feelings can be a bit difficult and we need visualization. So Michael Faraday in the 19th century fulfilled this need by visualizing invisible electric field lines. He defined electric field lines as imaginary smooth curves that are drawn in space to represent the nature of the electric field and the interaction of charged bodies with the electric field. Let's understand the important points to visualize electric field lines. First, electric field lines are continuous curves that start from a positive charge and end at a negative charge. Second, the lines are perpendicular to the surface of a charged body and the tangent drawn at any point on the curve shows the direction of the force and the electric field at that point. But why are electric field lines taken perpendicular to the surface? To understand this, let's take a charged sphere and assume that the electric field line is not at 90 degrees to the surface but at some angle theta. If that's the case, we will have two components of the electric field, E cos theta and E sin theta. And we know that the charges on the charged sphere are stationary, which means the electric field component E cos theta must be zero. Because if this component is not zero, there should be the moment of charges on the surface. Now, we know that the electric field E is not zero, but cos theta can be zero at an angle of 90 degrees which means theta equals 90 degrees and proves that the electric field lines will be at right angle to the surface. Now let's talk about the third point. Two electric field lines of force never intersect. To understand this fact, let's assume that we have two same positive charges. Both charges will have a radial outward electric field line. But we can see that the lines are crossing each other. At this point of intersection, two tangents can be drawn. One on the curve of the electric field line of the first positive charge and the other on the curve of the electric field line of the second positive charge. This indicates the direction of force and electric field. But it is impossible to have two direction of electric field at one point. Therefore, it is impossible for two electric field lines to intersect. As a result, Electric field lines create a lateral pressure to avoid this intersection, ripple each other and create a neutral point where there is no electric field. This is how we feel force of repulsion. However, if there are two opposite charges, the electric field lines contract and form a continuous curve in the same direction, creating an attractive force that we can feel. The fourth point is the density of electric field lines. The density of electric field lines visually represent the electric field intensity. Where the electric field lines are closer and more crowded indicates higher electric field intensity. As we move away from the charge, the electric field density decreases, indicating a decreasing in electric field intensity. Basically, electric field lines can be defined as a path along which a unit positive charge will move if placed in an electrostatic field. Fifth point, uniform electric field. If electric field lines are pointed along the same direction, parallel and equally spaced from each other, the electric field density will be same at every point. This means electric field intensity is also same. This type of electric field is called a uniform electric field. Sixth point, the number of electric field lines is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge. This means that a higher magnitude of charge will result in more electric field lines compared to the lower magnitude of charge. Please note that electric field lines are infinite or never ending. But while the electric field is theoretically infinite in range, its practical influence is limited to a finite region around the source charge or charged object beyond which its effects becomes negligible. So these were some basic and important points to visualize electric field lines. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.